Hi, my name's Lisa Ryan and I'm a local Thermomix consultant in Coffs Harbour. I've had many people ask me via my social media pages, Lisa's Thermomix Cooking Journey on both Facebook and Instagram, to show you how I make my fluffy white bread rolls. I'm going to show you today the technique that I use. I'm certainly no baker and I haven't had professional training, um, but this is the way that I find works for me and I hope it helps you as well. So firstly, I'd like to show you the ingredients that I use for my bread rolls. So I use the wallaby flour, which you can find in most large supermarkets in the bakery aisle. Um, this is the yeast that I use. Um, I choose to use Himalayan salt uh, for the salt content. Um, I don't put bread improver in my bread or bread rolls. I just use um, apple cider vinegar with the mother in it um, and it works just as well. And then a bit of olive oil. So I've just placed the ingredients for my Thermomama bread rolls into my TM6. So I've put warm water, the baker's flour, I've put my yeast, I've put my salt, the apple cider vinegar, and also the oil. And now I'm going to blend that for 15 seconds on speed three. So the next step is for the machine to knead the dough, which is really easy. Just swipe across and we're just going to press the dough function. Now this uh, dough needs six minutes on the kneading function. So all we need to do is scroll around to six minutes and then click on the dough icon and just start your machine. You just need to keep your machine away from the side of the bench because it can walk a little bit when it's kneading. So now that our dough has finished kneading in the Thermomix, it's time to put it on our Thermo mat. I use the Thermomix Thermomat for all of my dough work and I also proof my dough in this as well. It makes it really handy. The best way to get dough out of your Thermomix bowl is to actually turn it upside down and unclick the bottom and then allow it to fall through with the blade. See how easy that is? No dough is left in the bowl that way. Now that the dough is out of the machine, all we need to do is just make it into a nice ball so that the flour means that it's not gonna to stick to the mat. And all I'm gonna do now is actually fold it up in my Thermomat to prove. So this needs to prove till it's doubled in size, about 15 to 20 minutes. You can prove your dough a number of ways. You can either put it in a nice warm spot near a window, um, or you can use your thermo server. Um, thermo servers are great host rewards. If you fill this with boiling water and then put your thermomat with your dough over the top and let it sit there, that steam is gonna create a humid environment and it's gonna make your dough rise much quicker. Okay, so as you can see, my first rising has worked quite well. Um, I've had it in a warm area and the dough has doubled in size. So now it's time to knock it back and then form it into our bread rolls. So I just open the Thermomat. You'll notice that it sticks a little bit, but it's not actually stuck as such. You can just roll it back with your hands. And the next part is where we're going to knock the gas out of our dough because it's quite light and fluffy now. There will be a lot of air pockets in there just at the moment. Um, so the best way to do this is to just press gently. And I just keep pulling it out like this. You'll find that it's really nice and soft and fluffy at this point. And then I just like to fold that over and give it another go. And then just lift and fold this one over as well. I can hear a lot of those air pockets releasing air at the moment. And then it's just a matter of coming together like this. You don't want to work your dough too much. Overworking the dough will make your dough turn out like the rock cakes and the scone style bread rolls that I've seen some of you saying that you're having trouble with. So you really don't want to overwork that as once you feel as though you've got all of that air out, that's when it's time to stop playing with it. So I feel like I've got most of the air out of it now. So it's time to make our bread rolls. So for this amount of dough, I'm going to divide that into 12 bread rolls. 
I like to have mine the same size. So the best way to do that is to measure them in your Thermomix. So once you've worked your dough just that little bit to get the air to come out of those air pockets, it's now time to divide our dough into 12 for our rolls. Um, I use just one of these plastic scrapers that you can get from the kitchen shop. It's really important on this fiberglass mat, the Thermomat from Thermomix, that you actually don't use anything sharp because you will actually cut and damage your mat. So you can either use something like this or you can use your Thermomix spatula. Um, so the best way to do it is to portion it up and I like to weigh mine so that I get bread rolls that are consistent in size. Um, so if we just cut off a little bit of the dough and I've just got a plate on top of my TM5 here so that I can weigh it. So I've now portioned my bread rolls into 12 pieces, about 85 grams per roll they worked out to be. So now I'm going to show you the technique that I use to roll my bread rolls. Keep in mind, as I said at the start, I'm not a trained baker. This is just the way that I learnt by YouTube clips when I first bought my Thermomix. I find it works well for me. They rise really well. They're nice and light and fluffy. So this is what I'm showing you today. So again, you don't want to overwork the dough too much. You really want to be very gentle with the rolls. This is the process that we're following before our second rise. So once we actually roll our bread rolls into shape, we're going to put them in our tray and then they're going to double in size. So I just use my thumb and I grab it like this and then it's almost your middle finger there that you use and you just roll it round nice and gently so that you're just helping to shape it into a roll so that it's nice and round on top. And I'm just gonna put that into my tray. We're gonna go three wide and four long in our tray. So the next one, same thing. So just my thumb on that one. I'm just gently rolling it round till I get it nice and round on top. It's just that gentle movement with your hand so that it's not getting too much of a workout. And then we have a nice little roll there, which I'm going to put into our tray. We're just gonna keep doing that with all 12. So as you can see, I'm just gently letting it touch those two areas of my hand, my thumb and my middle finger until we have a nice roll. Okay, so now it's time for us to cover our bread rolls with a piece of blade wrap. Um, I just use my spray oil, which is olive oil in my own sprayer and I just slightly spray our glad wrap so that it's not going to stick to the bread rolls. That's gonna allow the rolls to have plenty of room to grow. We're going to allow these rolls to double in size before we put them in the oven. Um, so just like earlier, you can put them in a nice warm spot in the house or over the top of your thermo server filled with boiling water, um, or you can put them in any humid environment really. So I'll check back in with you once these have risen. So our rolls have had time to prove they're looking really good. When I decided to do this video, I asked on Facebook which rolls you wanted to see. Most of you wanted to see the plain, but there were quite a few people that wanted to see cheese and bacon as well. So I thought the best way to do this was to actually add cheese and bacon to some of these so you can see both ways. So the cheese and bacon gets added after the second proof, which is now, straight before they go in the oven. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put it, you just wanna gently sit it on the top. You don't actually wanna push down too much because otherwise what's gonna happen is your bread roll is gonna to start to sink and it's not gonna get that fluffiness that you're after. So just put cheese on the ones that you want to add your cheese and bacon to and then a bit of bacon on top as well. Simple as that, but just not pushing down, just keeping them nice and fluffy. You will save yourself an absolute fortune by making these instead of buying rolls for your kids for school. They cost so much and this is such a cheap way to make them yourself. So I'm gonna do them loaded today because my husband loves plenty of topping on his. So we're just gonna load those ones up and now our bread rolls are ready to go in the oven. So our oven is preheated to 180 degrees. I'm gonna pop them in there for about 20 minutes and I'll show you the end result. So I've just taken my fresh bread rolls out of the oven. The house smells amazing. Um, so I just wanna show you the end result. Um, as you can see, you get a really nice, light and fluffy roll out of the Thermo Mama recipe. Um, I've got my cheese and bacon ones here and then I've got my plain rolls. I flash freeze mine, so anything that you're not going to eat as soon as it's cooled, uh, put them in Ziploc bags or containers if you like and put them in the freezer. They'll save a lot of money by making these yourself. You also know exactly what's in them. You won't have the additives and preservatives that you'll often find in supermarket bread rolls. 
Um, they're just really, really nice. Uh, you can make wholemeal ones, you could make uh, grain ones if you like, you can make rye, um, anything you like. There's lots of recipes out there in the Thermomix world to make them as well. Um, I'm so passionate about cooking with my Thermomix. Um, I love the TM5, I really love the TM6 now that I've got that as well. Um, if you want any further information, you can find me on my social media pages, Lisa's Thermomix Cooking Journey on both Facebook and Instagram. Uh, you can get in contact with me should you be interested in buying a TM6 or seeing it via a virtual demo or in your home. I get in contact, I can sell Australia wide and um, as I say, I'm really passionate about what I do. Um, I'm more than happy to help you achieve what you want to in your kitchen as well with some great recipes and tips. Thanks.